Hey folks, welcome to Sustain Explained, a video series documenting Dose Bike's journey towards becoming a sustainable e-bike company. In the first episode, we introduced a couple of big themes. First was how our e-bikes are designed to replace the car for lots of short trips. How critical that is to solving the climate crisis. GHG emissions from transportation in North America alone count for more than a quarter of all emissions. And second was about manufacturing. Our efforts to produce our electric bikes as sustainably as possible. That's when we introduce Future Fit Framework, the systemic approach that ensures in our audit, we include everything from our operations and that we understand the global scale of our impacts on both people and the planet. Now in episode two, we're gonna take a deeper dive into some other parts of our business and to show you some of our ongoing sustainability initiatives. Now here's something we've been working on for a few months. We call it the little green box. Now we realize this box is neither green, nor is it that little. After all, it does contain a mostly assembled e-bike. But when we compare it to our original bike box, we see that for the environment, climate change in particular, the little green box makes a pretty substantial difference. Let's return to FutureFit and see why that is. Our supply chain includes everything from the sourcing of the raw materials to the final delivery of our bikes to the customers. The supply chain is something few of us thought much about before the pandemic, but in the manufacturing sector, where the supply chain represents the vast majority of our emissions in the range of 50 to 85%, addressing this part of our business is an absolute priority. Let's see how the little green box helps. Once off the assembly line from our factory in Taiwan, our bikes are boxed, they're stacked into a container and then loaded onto a ship. We'll take them to the port of Vancouver in Canada. It's about a distance of 10,000 kilometers. With the smaller box, we can put 40% more boxes into a shipping container. That means for 2022, we'll reduce our emissions from shipping by about 8,000 kilograms or eight metric tons. Now, of course, the little green box initiative alone doesn't get dose bikes to net zero emissions, but it does inch us closer. We're going to circle back to this in a minute. For now, let's move away from the supply chain and turn our attention to an equally critical part of our business, and that's our customer. How our customers use our products has a big impact. At Dost, we see it as our responsibility to educate people about how e-bikes can replace the car for lots of short trips. And from informal surveys of our customers, we find that lots of people find themselves doing just that. They're choosing to leave the car at home, even if they bought their bike, mainly as a way to stay active, healthy, and social. So the solution is simple. Just get more people to experience e-biking and the rest will take care of itself. But as popular as e-bikes have become, the vast majority of folks in the US and Canada have still never ridden one. And it's not a question of interest. People line up to go for a ride. It's a question of accessibility. With only a quarter of Americans describing where they live as urban, i.e. a bike shop around the corner, we decided the best way to reach the other 75% of the population was making house calls, bringing the e-bike riding experience right where they live. We call it the Roadshow. We launched it last year and we've had amazing response. People can't believe it when we pull up to their house with a van full of e-bikes to ride. After a quick rundown of how the e-bike works, they're off cruising around their own neighborhood, seeing firsthand how effortless the hills are, how far they can go in such a short amount of time. After a half hour or so, people come back, big grins on their faces. We show them the bags we designed to carry their stuff. You can see the wheels turning in their brain. Imagine the places they could go with an e-bike. For us, it's super gratifying. And just to reinforce how green e-biking can be, we show them the solar setup on the roof of the van. It's a simple 400 watt panel, the same one that you'd put on an RV. And we charge all the bike batteries we use for their test rides. To date, the system has produced about 150 kilowatt hours of solar energy. That's enough to charge this e-bike battery about 225 times and enough to ride 13,500 kilometers, almost the distance from New York to San Francisco and back again, all with zero emissions. Now we said we were gonna circle back to those eight tons of greenhouse gases our little green box initiative saves us. And to try to put that into perspective, it would be helpful if we knew what our total annual emissions were. 
but we're still working on our audit for 2021, so we don't have that exact figure. But there are other ways that we can make a useful estimate, and that's by using data made public by other e-bike producers. What we see is a range. At the low end is something around 300 kilograms of CO2 for an electric mountain bike that weighs maybe 17 kilos. And at the top end, we have 1,100 kilograms of CO2 for an electric cargo bike that weighs twice as much. Now let's say for the sake of argument that we're near the top end of the range, say 1,000 kilograms of CO2 per e-bike. Of course, this figure could be lower. The main purpose though is to provide us with perspective. We see that the Little Green Box initiative reduces our emissions by an amount equivalent to manufacturing eight of our e-bikes. To get an even better idea of what that means, let's see what else emits a thousand kilograms or a ton of CO2. Flying, you get a return flight from San Francisco to Chicago. You thirsty? How about 4,000 beers, 2,500 cups of coffee? A rocket flight? Well, you're not getting to Mars. It takes about two seconds to emit a ton of CO2. The electric car in your driveway? You can produce about 1 26th of an electric car. How about this bumper, for example? Take that out for a spin. And finally, let's look at the Ford F-150 pickup, America's best-selling vehicle, 40 years in a row. This is the one we want to draw your attention to. The F-150 gets about 20 miles to the gallon, so you could drive a distance of about 3,600 kilometers before you emit a ton of CO2. So, while a dose bike cannot quench your thirst for one of those 4,000 beers, it sure could replace 3,600 kilometers driving a Ford F-150. It's about 75 kilometers a week for a year. What all of this demonstrates is that while it's critical that we, other manufacturers, continue to shave tons of CO2 from our operations, educating people about the impact of the choices they make every day as consumers can have an even bigger positive impact. To wrap things up, we wanted to send a shout out to the winner of our 2021 Ride Some Good Ride Spot Challenge. Last year, we teamed up with our nonprofit partner, People for Bikes, to run riding challenges throughout the whole summer. More than 600 riders entered to win the draw for a new dose e bike, and the winner was Tina from Texas. Congratulations, Tina, from all of us at Dose. Happy riding! We're proud to have partnered with People for Bikes in 2021. Supporting communities is key to creating a sustainable future. But as DOS continues to grow, we're looking to amplify our impact, maybe becoming a 1% for the Planet member. Becoming a member means we'll commit to donating at least 1% of our gross annual sales to environmental causes. We're confident that we can meet and surpass the requirements to become a certified B Corporation. That would mean we would join brands like Patagonia, Ben & Jerry's Ice Cream, 7th Generation, and 4,600 other companies around the world using business as a force for good. And finally, our new North American headquarters. We just moved in and as soon as we get all the boxes unpacked, we're going to show you all the things we've done to reduce the impact of this amazing new facility. And that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for joining us on our sustainability journey. As always, Sustain Explained, to be continued.